In this video, we'll send this model to layout and make a construction document. It's best to orient the long side along the red axes for proper positioning in layout. And we're going to do some preparation here before sending it to layout. I want a white background, so I'm going to click on Styles and construction documentation. And under view, I'm going to uncheck the axes. Now I want to make some scenes. I'm going to save my style change as a new style, create the scene, add a scene, and here I'm going to make a floor plan. So, I will move this into place, click Unfill, click the top view, click Parallel Projection to make it orthographic, and then Update the Scene. And these are properties I can update. And I'm going to save as a new style. Now I'm going to click another scene. Let's look at it from the front. Delete the section plane. Update. And now let's send it to layout. If I click yes, it will save automatically. And before it lets me into layout, I need to choose a paper or a storyboard format, or a paper with a title block. I'll click on this one. All this text is editable. The red bounding box means this text will appear on all layers, and the blue means this text will just appear on this layer. This is a viewport. Holding the shift key down, I'll resize it and move it. And then I will copy and paste and move the copy off the original. I'm going to do that once more. Selecting this first viewport, right, I'll right click and choose Scenes, Scene 1, Scene 2, and Scene 3, which it's already on. Now I'll choose a scale. I'm going to choose a small one. I'm going to scale this to the same one. You can make these all different scales. And if the viewport is too small, you can also resize it. In fact, I'm going to reorder the positioning. And I have a lot of trays here to choose from. Under scrapbooks, I can bring in ID labels. Now move this up a little. And all these ID labels, of course, are completely editable. Hit Escape to get out of there. I can choose a text style, a dimension style, and the tools for the text and dimensions are up here.
I can do some edits with these tools, not as much as I can in the SketchUp software. I can add a table. And if I want to make changes to the model, what I can do is go back to the SketchUp file. And let's just add something. And save it. And now when we go back to Layout, go to File, Document Setup, references and you can see there's a reference that needs updating and here is that little box that I just added on the pages tab I can add new pages and I'm going to go back to inside page for the one I'm working on. Going back to this table, you can see I can adjust its size and I can click inside each box to put text. Click off to escape. Finally, I am going to export. I can export as an image, PDF, DWG, DXF, I'm going to choose PDF, we'll call it House. If I click All, all the pages will export. If I click Range, it will often say something like 1 through 10 or however many pages I have. And I can just click the page that I want. And then I'll click export and you can see I have just the page that I worked on and that I want and there you have it